My God. My God. And Tell her even to dance. The, oh, I can dance in the midst of the storm. I can dance in the midst of the storm. Oh, 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 oh. I can dance. I can, I can dance. dance in the midst of the storm. I can dance in the midst of the storm. I can dance in the midst of the storm. I can dance. I can dance. In the midst of the storm. Wow. Someone say wow. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, who touched our church? I said, who touched our church? Came in the line with a pain. Whoa. She said to me that the pain started in around here. Mm. Move in the back. Move. Move up the shoulders. Uh -oh. And was out. All pain is gone. Somebody. Listen. Some of you don't understand. The pain just move out. Yeah. It was moving. Yes. I As the anointing. Yes, go ahead. Amen. Pastor, when you start praying and yes. you start breaking stuff, right? Um, I used to trouble with this pain on my feet, mm. like catching cramps like yes. in the morning time, and like a very discomfort feeling. Yes. And pain in these hands, just like a circle in these hands, yes. And when you start praying, Pray, and yes. stuff, this pain start moving from here. You just start to move. From to the back, the back. from here. Then from there. And then when you said everything is gone, like I just feel it's just go. I can't feel anything no more. There's nothing. Yes. Yeah. The thing just go to the back. Anyway. Back to sender. Yes. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Glory be to God. Thank you, Pastor. Wow. Amen. Give me a high five. Give me another high five. Give me another high five. God is good. You got to put some money in my hand now. My God. No, I want you to hear this. Yes. I want you to hear this one now. Okay. These two last ones I'm going to give yes. you here are going to blow the roof. Whoa. Whoa. I got a bad on that roof now. Whoa. Whoa. About a week ago. Listen now. Listen. Yes, sir. At the back there, a young man could not move. He yes. was in an accident. Yes, sir. And you under the prophetic anointing yes. said and decreed and declared that in seven days, yes. within seven days, this he will get up and he will talk again. Mm. Couldn't talk. Yes, I remember, he was dying right there. That's right. Hear this now. Mm. On the sixth day, mm. he started to talk and make sentences. Wow. Somebody to give us a present here. Whoa! This is the this that, is the lady who brought him. Yes! Pastor is at the back there. Pastor, about two months ago, I you said we six stand in the gap, and it's my neighbor, so I stood in the gap. And I believe God. It's even your neighbor. Me. Yes. Neighbor. And I stood in the gap. Hold, 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 hold. Now listen. Mm -hmm. He was in hospital. Yes. They discharge him unconsciously. And we start praying. Yes. His mother decided to bring him to the church. Yes. And so we brought him last week. He was at the back there. You said to her, you give him within one week to speak. On yes. Sunday afternoon, she called me to say, come quickly, quickly, German is speaking. Somebody make some noise for Jesus. Make some noise for Jesus. So it, it's word, they told me his word was, he was pointing at the wardrobe and he said, wardrobe, wardrobe, open, open, short, praise the Lord. Somebody God. give God some praise. God. Look at that. Look at that. Where's the young man? Let me see his face. I've changed it now from talking to sitting up. Yes. I said we have changed from talking to sitting up. Yes. Son, from now, you will start to sit up now yeah. and you go talk, you go walk normally yeah. because the Lord has started to walk. In fact, it's looking different right now. That's true. It was like, it was like yeah. a cough. Yes. It was like a coughing That's true. last time, a cough. But now, life is coming back. Yeah. Stretch your hands towards him and shout, life! life! Say life! life! Say life! life! That we serve. Amen. Is awesome. Amen. Now here, here, here. Watch me. What here, here, here. The here God is. that we serve is awesome. Uh -huh. 
I deliberately said so. Yes. Because this young lady here is a testimony. Wow. Mm. Of the awesomeness of God. Yes, sir. Now, if you look at her now, you might not recognize her. That's true. Because she's looking too beautiful. That's one point. Yes. Secondly, the first time she came into this church, she came in in a wheelchair. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Listen, 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 listen. Uh -huh. She had the first time she came to this church, church, she came with a wheelchair in a wheelchair. In a wheelchair. Wow. And she had instruments protruding out of her feet. Oh shh. I know. That's right. Yes, sir. The story was she had suffered gunshot wounds. Yes. She was not expected to walk properly. Mm. But let her walk now. But you, under the prophetic anointing, yes, told her she will walk again. Yes, that's right. yes. And now she's and walking again. Without aid. Without the aid. No wheelchair. No wheelchair. And is rejoicing. Now, now, give her the microphone. Now, tell us, who, the first time you came here was when? It was one year ago. Today is one year since the incident. One year... Uh, one year and uh, some, one year something you came here. Yes, I came in the wheelchair. You came with a wheelchair. Yes, it was me and my baby. You are yes. yes. Okay, okay. I'm getting some recollection here now. Yes. About two months ago, I was sitting at the back, and I had the antenna in the right leg. Yes. And oh, you, you were the person in the back there. Up. Okay. And you said, "Watch it now." Get up and walk. And yes. Come to you. Without help. But you're looking more beautiful now. <laughs> so maybe I couldn't I couldn't see it good. Yeah. My God. And now you're walking good yes. by yourself now. Yes. Wow. God is so awesome. God is wonderful. So presently, wow. he <laughs> was it something was the bullet lodged in the child? Yes. Huh? Right? The bullet was lodged in the child. Okay. The okay. doctor say that a bullet leave on the right side lower abdomen. But I don't think so. Because it's almost a year and the doctor never talk about the doc about the bullet, nor they never do no x ray. If if he bullet in there, you're dead by now. Because that is poison. Yes. Listen to me. When God be for you. Yes. If you see the coward at how they shoot that child. Yes. Ah, Baba, you are the God of justice. Yes. Somebody give God some praise in here. Whoa! Huh? Yes. 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 I prophesied that the baby was going to leave. Yes. And October is his next clinic day. And the doctor said that would be the last and final day he come into clinic. So how could a bullet still be in him and the discharge in him from the clinic? Somebody give us a praise. It's not, we don't stage nothing up here. What you see is what you get. Yes. If God can do it, no man else can do it. And I believe that even right now, there's a breakthrough in the house. Yes. I speak to the root cause. And I command that problem to die from the root now, in the name of Jesus. Amen. There are seven of you here right now. God just told me as I pray that prayer. Seven of you right now. What God showed me as I was finishing that prayer, He said to tell you that the root cause of that problem that's been a long time in your life. 
you wish it was over, but it's not over yet. But I just heard God to tell you, this is the final. I don't know if that is you. If that is you, give God some shout. This is the final. This is the final. This is the final. This is the final. In your house, in your job, in your business, in your ministry, this is the final. In the name of Jesus. Yeah.